So I saw that you travel a lot, right? I saw a lot of awesome travel pictures. You were in Copenhagen. I, I was just there a few months ago. Um, when it comes to the concept of like reflecting, that I read a lot about that in leadership books. I, I try, I've got my own little things that I do. I noticed that when I'm traveling, that that's like a naturally good time for reflecting. Do you find the same thing? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the amount of notes I took on my flight back from uh, Europe the other week was just a perfect example of that. Uh, also, you know, I also carve out dedicated time to pause and think about things on a weekly basis, even when I'm not on the road, just because it is such a powerful tool. So you just put like a recurring event in your calendar? Like, how do you tactically do it? You know, I'll spend time like on the weekends and the morning and the the evening. So like I'm generally in the office, for example, about an hour to an hour and a half before my first meeting starts just to give me a time to pause, take a situational awareness. And I'll try to wrap things up and make a bunch of notes at the end of the day and take a half hour, hour to do that. Like, for example, I was making quite a few notes last evening uh, as my day wrapped up. And then that really kind of drove a lot of to do's and agenda for today that wasn't on my calendar. Nice. I'm also a big fan of mind mapping for a more, at a more strategic level where, where you've got, you know, that potentially hundreds, if not thousands of interrelated uh, topics to just get them organized. Mind mapping. You just do it. Do you, like, do you have a journal? How do you do it? Digitally journal? What do you do? Oh, digitally. There's actually software program, many software programs out there to use it. I happen to like Corral's uh, Mind Manager. Uh, 2020 is the one that I, I happen to use, but there's other ones out there. And the reason I like the software is that it actually allows you to maintain, you know, dedicated relationships between topics. But like so you can make have multiple mind map sessions and it'll connect things oh no or you, it ends up looking like a tree with many interconnected branches so you can like draw up for example uh an air a connector a connector between a topic on this branch of the tree and a topic on this other branch of the tree got it whenever you go to iterate on that topic you realize okay hey there's a there's a tentacle that's going over in this other area so you don't have to that's that's actually pretty cool so you get reopen the mind map basically like when you're programming and somebody interrupts you and everything clears and you have to like reload everything back into your head before you can start again. Yeah, like, exactly. Whereas this, this, you can just pick up where you left off and it's all digital backed up to the cloud and, uh, and you can use it on pretty much any device with a reasonably sized screen. 